In today's video, we take a look at not only the oldest, but the only still flying McDonnell Douglas MD-81. Based out of Michigan's Detroit Metro Airport, Olympia Aviation's November 682 Romeo Whiskey is currently the only MD-81 left in operation. Built at McDonnell Douglas's Long Beach site as serial number 48006, the 43-year-old aircraft was delivered in April 1981. Of the 132 MD-81s built, this was one of the earlier produced, being the 19th to roll off the assembly line. Just like most aircraft of its age, this aircraft has a little bit of history as far as its ownership. The aircraft was delivered brand new to Swissair in April 1981, registered as Hotel Bravo-India November Golf. The aircraft would fly for the next 14 years with Swissair before going to SAS Scandinavian Airlines. In March 1995, it would become Oscar Yankee-Kilo India Golf and spend the next five years flying for SAS. In August 2003, it would become part of the Midwest Express Airlines fleet as November 812 Mike Echo, where it would fly for the next 11 years. In January 2011, the aircraft would become Olympia Aviations and be re-registered as November 682 Romeo Whiskey, which it has remained for the last 13 years. Once in Olympia Aviation's possession, the aircraft now known as Redbird 3 would get a total makeover inside and out. Not only would it receive its new paint scheme on the outside of the aircraft, but the aircraft's interior would be completely redone as well. Now in its 74 first class seat VIP configuration, the aircraft is used as a sports team hauler, flying around the Detroit Red Wings hockey team as well as the Detroit Tigers baseball team, both of which are managed by Olympia Entertainment. Although not owned by Olympia, another Detroit sports team that should be mentioned when talking about MD-80s is the Detroit Pistons. Between 2010 to about 2016, the team operated their own McDonnell Douglas MD-83 aircraft. November 88 Delta Papa was known as Round Ball 1 before it was retired from its sports team use when the Detroit Pistons joined most of the rest of the NBA in traveling on Delta's fleet of 757 VIP aircraft. The McDonnell Douglas MD-80 series was introduced with its program launch in 1977 as the next generation of the Douglas DC-9. The Super 80, which consists of the MD-81, 82, 83, 87, and 88, featured a longer fuselage and more powerful engines than its DC-9 predecessor, as well as upgraded avionics and further engine upgrades in the later variants. Its two Pratt & Whitney JT-8D-217 low-bypass turbofan engines were state-of-the-art at the time. With its larger wing and the ability to hold over 10,000 pounds more fuel, the aircraft had a range of about 1,560 nautical miles, over 200 nautical miles more than the DC-9. With the MD-81's first flight in October 1979, it wasn't long after when in September 1980, the first MD-81 was delivered to Swissair, only a year before Swissair would take its 7th MD-80 delivery, which would become November 682 Romeo Whiskey. Prior to Olympia Aviation taking delivery of November 682 Romeo Whiskey, or Redbird 3, in 2011, the airline had a different November 682 Romeo Whiskey. Its previous jet, known as Redbird 2, was a McDonnell Douglas DC-9-50 series. Built in September 1977 as serial number 47733, the aircraft flew with Eastern Airlines and TWA before going to Olympia in 1999. It would fly the Detroit Red Wings and Tigers around for 12 years before being retired for the MD-81. Once delivery of the new November 682 Romeo Whiskey, the old one was re-registered as November 682 Papa Whiskey. The aircraft is still in Detroit where it is used for firefighter training. Unfortunately for Old Jet and McDonnell Douglas lovers alike, much like Olympia's DC-9, the MD-81's days are numbered. Although no confirmed date, November 628 Romeo Whiskey's retirement is fast approaching. Acquired from the now-defunct Miami Airlines as November 749 Mike Alpha, Olympia purchased a 15-year-old Boeing 737-800 in 2022. The 737, serial number 36434, was delivered to Varig in August 2008 
as Papa Romeo dash Victor Bravo Juliet before going to Miami Air in 2016. Now registered as November 313 Tango Romeo, the 737 has completed its modifications and interior upgrades. The new replacement 737, with its tail logo still covered, was seen during its test flights around Michigan earlier this week before returning back to its hangar at Detroit Metro. Unlike the DC-9 and MD-81, it's assumed that the 737 will not become the next November 682 Romeo Whiskey, but keep its current registration, 313 being Detroit's area code, and Tango Romeo being for Tigers and Red Wings. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I really enjoy making these types of videos and have some more aircraft history type ones in work. If you did like it, don't forget to like or comment and subscribe if you haven't already and want to see similar upcoming content. Thanks for watching.